Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Helen Paul J. Klumoka, and on this channel we talk about all things crochets and craft. Um, if it's crochet, if it's a craft, it's my jam. Um, today we are doing an unboxing, or rather I guess I should say, uh, off. an unbagging from Joanne's. Um, some of you may know about it, I apologize for the crinkling, already, but they came out with a new line, of, with, they have a line of cotton, um, yarn, and you guys know how much I love cotton, so I decided I was going to buy some, and I was going to unbox it, or unbag it, on camera, so that's what we're doing. Again, I bought those for the crinkling, but you know, it is what it is. So let's see what we've got. Yes. Hmm. So it's the Big Twist Cotton. And yeah, cotton is new for Big Twist. I didn't know Big Twist made cotton, so I'm assuming this is a new product. If it's not a new product, somebody leave me a comment telling me how long it's been out and where I've been and how I missed it. Because y'all know that um, when it comes to acrylic, Big Twist is my favorite. So, when I saw that they had cotton, I figured, hmm, well, they, they got acrylic, right? So, let's see if they could do some cotton. Uh, this is, I don't know where my cheaters are. Blueberry Speckle. And it's a worsted weight, 100% cotton. Calls for a 5.5 millimeter hook. Now, but I turned it around. And for cotton, oh, especially a worsted weight, it's not bad. It's soft. Um, not like really, really soft, but soft. Anyway, so that's one color. Ooh, this is their denim. Denim splash. Pulling it upside down. As you can see, it's definitely a denim blue with white going through it. And I got... This is. Ah, okay. This one, which is called Granite Splash, and it's basically different shades of gray with white going through it. Focus. So those are the three colorways that I've received. I've I ordered two others, but they haven't come yet. It's coming in two different shipments. But these are the three I have so far. Um, if you want a comparison? This is Lion Brand Twenty Four Seven. It's a mercerized cotton, so it's going to automatically be softer. Um, I was trying to see how much is in this. Oh, wow, I cannot see where it says. Oh, 98 yards, 88 meters. And I believe I paid four dollars for this. See there's an invoice in here. No, there's no invoice. I'll uh place how much I paid for this up in the corner somewhere. Um 
This is Rainbow Cotton from Hobie. It's 82 yards. And this is also a, a, a worsted cotton. Um, hmm. I don't know, what if there's 82 yards in this, and what if there's in this one, 96 yards in this. Hmm. It doesn't feel bad, but it's not nearly as soft as the rainbow. I'm not even going to bring the 24 7 because it's commercialized, so it's in a different category completely. But yeah, comparing these two, I don't know. I mean, there's more in this one than in this one. But this is a softer cotton. This has a, a resistance to it, a roughness to it, that this doesn't have. Well, yeah, this is still softer. Uh, well, we might as well, you know, see how this crochet is. So I'm going to, like, grab a hook and let's see what I think of it. Okay, first off, I'm not a fan of yarn barf. And quite frankly, with cotton yarn, I, I'm not used to ha dealing with yarn barf, so that's kind of a, a negative for me. But, okay, you know, every yarn has its moments when it, when, you know, when it doesn't want to cooperate. So, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. So, I'm going to go ahead and unravel enough here so that I can, like, get started on a swatch. And let me grab a hook. It calls for a five and a half. So let's go with my Susan Bates. If y'all um, watch my hook review, you know that I I was a fan of the Susan Bates, and I have a feeling that this is going to need a hook that can grab. And I believe my assessment was right. I'm not getting resistance, but I can see how this could be splitty. But I'm just gonna like crochet a little bit. Have you guys, have any of you guys used this yet? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment um, in the comment section. Let me know what your opinions are. And if you do have it and you do like it, what are you gonna use? What are you gonna uh, make with it? Um, I would actually use this in the kitchen. I, it's, the price point is where I, I, I don't, I wouldn't mind using it. It's, it's splitty. Yeah, it's splitting. Um, using it to make, uh, dish towels or trivets or pot holders or stuff like that. For those of you that don't know, I'm not really a big fan of using high-end cotton in the kitchen because I think it's kind of a, for lack of a way of describing it, a waste of really good cotton. But this is a good cotton with a decent price point. So, yeah, this I could see being used to make, like, kitchen things. So, of course... Uh, I'm not really a fan of how it's crocheting up, it's... There's like some weird... coating... on it. It... I, you're not going to be able to see it. And it well, it, as you can see, it has a bit of a halo. But it just feels like there's like a waxy coating on it. Like, I don't know, the, the dye, maybe? Is making it feel this way, making the cotton feel like this. I'm not totally sure. I've, I've never had this feeling 
of dealing with uh, dyed cotton for it. It, it. It's weird. And I mean, I've crocheted with and used variegated um, cotton before, dyed cotton, obviously. This just has a weird feel to it. And it's taking me forever to crochet with it. I'm not. I do the second half. I think I'm gonna switch hooks to see if maybe a different hook would help. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out hooks. I'm going to drop the season baits. I go with my trusty Addy. You all know how much I love my Addy. See if that helps. It could be the coating on the Susan Bates hook too, because it's kind of got a nickel coating on it. And that can like conflict with some yarns. Yeah, this is, this this steel hook is well, I guess it's probably an aluminum hook. It's going much better. And I'm just doing normal half double crochets. You know, nothing spectacular, nothing fancy. Just trying to get a feel for the yarn, so I can tell you guys whether you should run out and buy it or not if you haven't already. Like I said, it was new to me. It might have been out for a while and I just didn't know. So, and again, if, if that's the case, leave me your opinions on it in the comments section. But this is the first I saw of it. And I'm pretty much uh, up on Big Twist because it's like my favorite non bougie yarn okay so let's just watch half double honestly I think a five and a half is a little big for this because that's half double crochets and there's a lot of gap in those uh, stitches so I don't know um Yeah, this would, I'm actually going to say that I would probably use this exclusively in the kitchen. I'm not totally sure I would, like, make a garment or anything out of this. Because, like I said, it smells okay. It smells like cotton. But it, 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 it just feels weird to me. And I have a feeling that it might not feel that great on my skin if I were to wear it. I'm not sure. Now I'm editing this. I just wanted to jump in here, um, since I wasn't all that thrilled with the first swatch, I then went ahead and swatched with another one. So, I swatched with Blueberry, and still got the yarn bar, but not as much. But, this is a little softer. It doesn't seem to have the film that I was talking about with the other, uh, skein. And, this is also with a five and a half hook, millimeter hook. But it seems to have crocheted better. So there's that. Um, it's a little loose, so I probably would go down to like a five millimeter if I was going to make like something that I was going to use in the kitchen, so that the, the stitches were tighter. But there's definitely some nice definitions in the stitches, and like I said, it doesn't have that film feeling that the other one does. So maybe it's just a problem with that colorway. I don't know. I just wanted to jump in here and let you know that, you know, they don't all feel like that. I mean, it's not to me. Anyway. Back to your scheduled video. Still in progress. I am really on the fence with this one, guys. Um, I can't say I love it. I can't say it's the greatest cotton I've ever used. But I don't hate it either. So, uh... If you're looking for a new cotton you want to try out, it's worth buying a couple of uh, balls of it and seeing what you think of it. And if you don't like it, I mean, it's it's balls of cotton. You can always find something to do with them. I mean, nothing else. You can make like, you know, little stuffy balls for your dogs or, you know, plushy or something for the kid or, you know, you can find something to do with it. But anyway, that is my take on Joanne's Big Twist Cotton. Um, if you've watched this far, thank you very much. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. 
if you didn't like what you saw, hit the dislike. If you got this far and you still want to hit the dislike button, feel free. It won't hurt my feelings. It views of you, so thanks. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you know the next time I upload a video. And with that, I am going to sign off. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you in my next video. Oh, and don't forget, I do have a live tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So, if I don't see you there, I will see you in my next video. Bye!